Good morning. Right now I'm doing some hill repeats. But first, before we get to how today, Saturday's run has gone, let's check in and see how the rest of the week has gone. I'm gonna continue doing these hill repeats. I'll talk to you in a minute. Good morning, it is Monday and I did 9.6 miles at a 7.47 per mile average pace. Today, I did some fartlek type of running. Um, it wasn't probably a true fartlek, but I did pick up the pace uh, somewhat often. I wanted to focus on higher leg turnover today. So I think I accomplished that. The legs feel a little bit like jello. Um, I not only did the fartlek type workout, but um, took a route that was a little more hilly than maybe your average route. So I focused on being strong, going on the uphill. I took advantage of the downhill for that faster leg turnover, and then took moments of uh, slower jogging recovery in between. So it was a good workout. I'm a little tired. Um, just sleepy tired. I wanted to sleep in, but I didn't. I didn't. You guys hold me accountable. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye. Tuesday morning, just over 10 miles at an eight minute average pace, average per mile pace. Got to witness a gorgeous sunrise this morning and uh, that was that was nice. Kept the pace fairly casual. Uh, I didn't want to overstress my body too much, kind of recover a little bit. Although there was a small section near the end of the run where it just felt good to run faster and, and get some extra pop in the step. But I guess that's uh, that's it, sticking to the plan so far. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Wednesday and I did uh, 10 miles at a steady uh, pace. It wasn't tempo, it wasn't easy. It was just a solid, steady uh, effort. Let's see what my pace was. Average pace of seven miles and 37 seconds per mile. Um, there were some hills in there, so I definitely slowed down on the uphill and then picked up the pace for the downhill. But that was a good run. I didn't do the easy, I didn't do the planned easy run. Uh, the schedule had me do eight miles easy. I opted to do 10. Legs were feeling pretty good. We're also expected to get some snow tonight. So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. Um, if there's snow, I won't be doing the intervals. Maybe I can do that on Friday, but we'll just see, you know, life happens. You got to adjust and just keep moving forward. Consistency over perfection. All right. See you tomorrow. Hi. Well, it's Thursday and we got some snow. It's uh, deeper than I expected it to be. Uh, there's probably six to uh, 10 inches, maybe a foot in spots. It's fun to run in the snow, but it's a lot harder. I'm finishing this run off at six miles. And I was originally planning on doing at least eight, but I think I'll stop here. It's really pretty though. Kind of peaceful to run in the snow. But I guess that's a wrap. Let's go inside, get showered, do it again tomorrow. All right, I'll see you guys. Good morning, it's Thursday. And I am in the middle of running the Higgins Loop, which is about a, an 11, 11 and a half mile route that goes through uh, a whole variety of what my area has to offer. Uh, lots of rolling hills, ups and downs is great. But one of the things that I enjoy about that route and running in the morning is this. The sun is about to come up and I look forward to seeing the sunrise 
now that the sun is starting to come up just a little bit earlier. It's going to be rather not going to be. It is a gorgeous morning. All right, let's get on with the run. I'll see you back at the house. And the run is complete. 11.45 miles at an eight minute uh, per mile pace. It was a great run. I will see you tomorrow, a long run, Saturday. I'm gonna do 20 miles with hills. See how that goes. See you tomorrow. go down do another hill repeat all righty it is saturday and i am finishing up my 20 mile long run i just have three miles left uh before i get to the house and finish up the run i did hill repeats there was about uh, i think 14 hill repeats there's a half mile to the top of the hill and then half mile back down by mile 12. I was pretty tired. It was a gorgeous morning though, with a beautiful sunrise. So my whole objective really with today's run other than building endurance was to build strength and to practice maintaining good strong form especially as I fatigue so I thought well hills are a good way to do that so that's what I did if you want to see this run or any of my other runs check out my Strava profile there's a link down in the description you can give me a follow if you want of course you can also check out some pictures and other cool, unique content on my Instagram profile. Link also down below. Let's take a quick look at what I've got in store for next week. And then we'll finish off this run. As you can see, I had a pretty good week of running, totaling almost 68 miles. Looking into next week, I have two speed sessions planned, both on Monday and Thursday, and then I'll be doing 10 miles on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Those will be easy miles. And on Saturday, I plan to do 18, maybe 20 miles. We'll see. Just about to arrive at the house, so that is a wrap. If you check out this run on Strava, just know that I truly did run 20 miles even though it says 19 and a half. I forgot to unpause the watch. Remember, the 5K time trial is going to be on March 20th, and you are welcome to join me. I'd love to have you do your own time trial between now and then, and then you can comment when I post that video what your time was on your 5K effort. Alrighty, I'll see you next time, next week, and on the next video. Be consistent, express gratitude and enjoy every mile. I know I did this week. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.